Hello, dinky do me hearties. It's just me, Scotty McCree. It's just gone half past 11 on Sunday, Sunday the 13th of March. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to every single one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our live pop-up. There we are. Just tell everybody, there's Dabby. Dabby, how did you manage to appear almost immediately? Hi to you, Dabby, and a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue Live, and a big dinky-doo to you. Amazing. I'm already up at 90 likes. Morning, Scotty. Have a good Sunday. And you, Jamesy boy, lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, welcome, welcome. I say, lots happening, so little time to do it in. The lives are at a premium these days. 135 likes. Mm -hmm. Follow me as soon as you come on, and dinky-doo. Thank you very much, Dabby for sending the likes. Uh, morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, I say. Now, uh, we have a lot to talk about this morning, so I want to hear your chat. I want to hear what you're thinking about things. We don't want to fill up the live with uh, necessarily everything that's going on in the world, because this is about us. It's about you, and it's about the rest of the people watching. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you very much, Rio. Very much appreciated. There's John. John's joined us. Good morning, John. Glad you could make it. Uh, so there we are. You have a tatty. Yes, a tatty on a Sunday, a potato. Very, very nice. Dinky do. Good morning and a big dinky do to every single one of you. Thank you, Fiona. Deleting my recent TikTok one minute. Uh, watch till the end. Yes, we will. Absolutely. We will watch till the end. Uh, well, oh, sorry, you're watching till the end. I've got you. Good morning. Dinky do. Thank you for following. XS. Uh, Dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say to you, tremendous. So glad you could all make it. This is an incredible turnout. 234 likes already. Amazing. Just wonderful. Thank you for joining us, Jay. Remember, never stroll, never troll. Once you find Scotty McClue, you have discovered gold. You have discovered TikTok's top talk show. That's what it's about. Morning. Dinky do Fiona. Dinky do to you. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. Scotty, did you watch the boxing last night? Well, no, I was broadcasting last night. The internet phone in goes out on a Saturday night at nine o'clock. And you'll see a bit of it on here. Hey, up, chap. Hey, up, squib. Where are you from in Scotland? From the West Coast. So there you are. Lovely to have you with us, of course. You are proper Scottish. Oh, proper Scottish, Callum. Absolutely 100%. Can you say happy birthday to my sister, who's 21 today? Tess. Yes, I can. No problem at all. Hello, lad. How are you today? I zone, lad. Keep up the good work from Australia. Jack, lovely to hear you from Australia down under. Is the west like the north? Well, that would be more the northwest. There we are. I'm free Edinburgh, my man. Nothing wrong with that, Callum, my man. So there we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hi, Scotty, all the way from Easter House. Robert, lovely to have you with us from Easter House. And Dinky Do. Lots of new TikTok videos uploaded just for you. Fantastic stuff. From Wales, Zone, yucky da, I say to you from Wales, from Bournemouth, down in Dorset, dinky do. Well, Scotty, my boy, the creek today. Well, Fergus, always lots of creek on here. Morning, Scotty, from Stephen and Julie. Tell her I love her, Scotty. Julie, Stephen loves you. Did you know that? What's your take on what's happening in the Ukraine? Well, just be very, very careful. You're not watching propaganda. Uh, hi, Scotty, all the way from England. We love you in England, look it. Follow me as soon as you can, guys. Hi, Scott, from East Anglia. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Brian says, how old is Scotty? We don't know, Brian, because I wasn't born. I was knitted, you see, by my grandmother. We think she dropped a couple of stitches. Hello, Scotty, dinky do, chronic. How lovely to have you with us, chronic. Hi, hi, look it. How good to have you with us and dinky do. Lots and lots of sharing and lots and lots of following, guys. Get following as soon as you come on. Good morning. How are you? John, we are amazing. So lovely to know that you're with us. Welcome, welcome, I say. Nice one. Did you like that one, Brian? What does floati mean? Floati means hashtag uppercase, F-L-O-T-I, the first lord of the internet. 
That is my official title. Remember last year? Uh, no, we don't remember anything like that, and that didn't happen. So there you are. What we will we do with you, Chronic, is send you Dune the Swanee and a lifetime ban. There you are. Fantastic. That's him gone. Never hear from him again. He's gone for life. Uh, thank you, Carol, for sending me a panda. You're very, very kind, you beautiful TikTok people. I absolutely love it. So good of you. Thank you for my panda. David Ferguson has just joined us. Top of the morning to you, my main man, and to you, David, another branch of the green oak tree. There we are. I shall be posting a video about green oak later, so you'll be able to see that. I've just found a very interesting photo. Fantastic. So keep your eye out for something like that. One and a half thousand likes, guys. Tremendous. Welcome, 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 and dinky-doo to every single one of you. You're watching Scotty McClure, hashtag float eye, first lord of the internet, the world's top talk show. Uh, so there you have it. Follow us as soon as you come on. Tremendous stuff. Thank you for following. Scotty, I won my boxing match last night by knock out in round two. Well done, it's Matt. Uh, yes, indeed. Scotty is 65, says John. John, you're very kind to me. How's your maths? My maths is outstanding. Yes, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Square in the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. There you are. Now, what have we got here? Did Neil Armstrong... Oh, very good, very good, Brian. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, and dinky-doo. All right, Scotty, how are you keeping? Top man. Can't just see who that is. It's uh, Chris, is it? Have I got that? It's very difficult to see. Scotty, I've been listening to you for years. You're looking good, my friend. I dinky-doo to you. I say to you, how lovely to have you with us. Scotty, would you come to my next fight? Well, the only problem, Matt, I have is time is at a premium. I am maxed. I can barely get time to pop up live on TikTok. That's the problem. We're nearly at 2,000 likes, guys. I thank you. Fantastic. Matt Dinky-Doo. Are you the first lord of the internet? Cool. Who gave you that title? The people of the world, the world's citizens, global citizens. Outstanding. Okay, here we go. Fantastic. Dinky-Doo. Hello, Scotty from Maryland. Leslie Davis in Maryland. We love you from Maryland. Welcome, welcome, and dinky-doo from America. It's so good to have you with us. A huge part of my audience are from America. Joel says, how are you this fine morning? Here's one for you, says H. Beat. There we are. A baseball bat and a baseball cost £1.10 together. The bat costs a pound more than the ball. How much does the ball cost on its own? Well, if the bat's a pound more, then uh, it would be the ball. Wait till we see one pound ten, but the bat is a pound more than the ball. So if it's a pound more, it's not as easy as 10p, because the whole lot's 10, uh, but it costs one pound more. So that would be one ten. So the ball must come free. Am I correct? I would think that would be the answer to that one. Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag float I, the first lord of the internet, TikTok's top talk show, just for you saying Dinky Doo. Get following as soon as you come on. Nobody should be watching without following. Simple as that. We're far too big for that. Hi from Birmingham in the UK, Dinky Doo. Uh, the dude in the portrait's got a massive smile, bra. That's me. I am the dude with a massive smile. Fantastic. Uh, you're on the right track. Not too bad there. Eight out of ten Harvard graduates get it wrong. Well, Scotty McClure is a Glasgow University graduate. He doesn't get things wrong. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Dinky do. That's what I say to you. So there we are. So does the ball actually come free each beat? Here's one for you. My eyes have a cold nose. 
What am I talking about, HBeat? Anybody else? Follow us, guys. I should have come on. Thank you, Kim, for following. And thank you so much to everybody else who's followed. You are thoroughly, thoroughly decent human beings. I used to love you on Scott FM. That's going back. Do you know, Brian, that actually is going back. Because this June, it's 30 years since we started the nighttime phone-ins. And then Scott FM was about two years after that. So it will be 28 years this December. What about that? Hello from Ayrshire. Dinky do. Incredible. We love you in Ayrshire. And I think it should come back. But the only trouble is radio has gone very, very bland and they don't have the local personality that they used to have. You know, I mean, Scott FM was stuffed with personality and news and sport and everything. Didn't you do? So there we are. Hi from Wales, from Ear Town Centre, says Kevin. Didn't you do? Hello from North Berwick. Love you, Scotty. Bear on the radio. We love North Berwick. What a beautiful part of the world to come from. I tell you. There we are. I used to stay very close to North Berwick. I stayed out at the Sultans. Follow us as soon as you possibly can. I may come back to East Lothian one day because I loved it so much. But then I loved Yorkshire and I loved Manchester and uh, I love Scotland and I love the West Coast as well. There are two sides to the brain, one side that makes quick decisions and one that questions things. Now, H. Beat, you're absolutely correct in that. Because when I used to come back with a quick, smart answer on the radio phone-in, I had to run it through the other side of my brain to let myself know I could actually see it. Thank you, Scotty. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. I actually listened to you on L109 as well. L107, Brian. There we are. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. Ban me, for goodness sake. You do my head in. Not at all. Just you ban yourself. Uh, we no point in wasting our time on you with a done-in head. Amazing entertainer. I thank you, Brian. Thank you, do. There we are. Just leave uh, as soon as you possibly can, James. Thank you, Fiona. Close enough. Are you a park? No, not close enough. You wouldn't be able to receive it on 109. Are you a parking ticket? Because you have fine written all over you. Isn't that lovely? What a beautiful thing to say. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Dinky you know, is that your chat-up line for the ladies? I was down at Inverkip Hotel for each last night. Very good, old David. Beautiful. I always loved going to the Inverkip Hotel. I went Sunday lunch. They did a lovely Sunday lunch when I was in Greenock. There we are. What are you doing today? Sparkles. I am broadcasting, and then I have to get on with my work. Uh, say hi to Gabby and Holly, please. We will edit. The most jolly man I've met this year. What a lovely thing to say. It was quite refreshing watching your left brain question your right brain. Yes, you too, HBeat. What wig you got? I've got the Harris Tweed Hound's Tooth. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do. In fact, no, that's the Hound's Tooth. The Harris Tweed is, uh, I can't see it right now. I've got it beside me here. So, Oh, yes, there we are. I knew I had it with my collection, you see. Uh, let me just sort this out for you, then you'll be able to see it. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. There is my Harris Street. Isn't that beautiful? That's the herringbone, guys. The correct answer's 5P. So I wasn't too far out then, was I? There we have it. Harris Street. Isn't that beautiful? Pure Harris Tweet. There's your proper mark, and there's your lovely mark. That there is the Harris Tweed mark. Do you see it in the center there? That shows it's pure Harris Tweed, guys, and dinky do. Now, a lovely thing to have, and McCree wears that quite a lot. There we are, dinky do. I never knew the Tierra del Fuego till I listened to you, mate. Brian, everybody knows the Tierra del Fuego, the land of fire. It's a frozen landscape where fires break out in a self-combustible fashion. There we are, dinky-doo, Gabby, Holly, and Carrie are big fans. Dinky-doo, edit. I thank them. Tell them that we're all big fans of theirs. 4,000 likes. Is that not absolutely outstanding? Guys, can everybody follow me? 
And I mean everybody watching right now, just click, I think it's top left, there's a plus sign. Click follow Scotty McClure. Let's have a follow fest. Uh, now I do, you do, Brian, yes, the Tierra del Fuego, the land of fire. Uh, loose translation or exact translation. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Aaron. Very much appreciated. Leslie Davis, thank you for my beautiful sunglasses. Tremendous stuff. The glare there was incredible. Good to see the numbers are climbing every week. Brun, we're getting there, but we need lots more followers. I've got 4,200 likes, but we need to get the following. It's my time. Jack, Victor, it's lovely to have you with us, and Dinky do. I'm going to have a sip of water. Everybody follow while I'm sipping. So you've got about five seconds to see how many followers we can get while I sip my aqua. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, isn't that lovely, dinky do, My man, you sound like you should be in still game. Well, they reckon Scotty McClue was actually the original inspiration for still game. What about that for a claim to fame? Follow us, guys, as soon as you like. Thank you so much for fun time. Thank you, Oni, Onia. There we are, tremendous stuff. Outlander in Stockholm has followed. Oni has followed. Thank you, guys. We need lots of followers. Everybody follow, please. Please, sir, will you say you will be missed? Oh, nee, we don't say things on demand if we don't understand them. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can, and dinky-doo. There we are. Thank you for my likes. We're at 5,000 likes as I speak. Fantastic. Can you say... Oh, I can say all these things. Morning, Scotty, from Port Glasgow. John Boy, how lovely to have you with us from the Port of Glasgow. And dinky do. It's just a joke with me and my friend. Oh, I see edit, right. Is that you in the picture behind you? That's me, yes, absolutely. And Lord Reith the Labrador. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm in Musselbra, I can Musselbra. What a fine part of the world that is. I used to shop in Musselbra, and I went down to the co-op, and I could park behind it. Do you still have that? And I could get along to the bank and all sorts of things. It was lovely. I haven't seen you for a long time. No, but you're seeing me now, Jose, and that's what life is all about. Good Sunday morning from the Mississippi. Good to visit you live again. Real Justin, we love you in Mississippi. A huge number of Scotty McClue's audience live on TikTok are from America. TikTok. There we are. I'm in Stony Bank. Fantastic edit. We love it. There we go. Now then, who else have we got? Fisher Row. Jaken Fisher Row. And I used to get an ice cream at Lucas. There we are. We walk up to Inveresk. There we are. Good morning from Rutledge. Good morning, Jeff. How lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. What time is it there here? It's 11.51. 11.51. We popped up just after half past. Uh, half past 10. Can you say, uh, sorry, half past 11, and it's now 11.51. Can you say hello to Ronin and wish him a very tough day? I work on Monday. <laughs> Mika, you're a very naughty, naughty boy. Guys, join us as soon as you possibly can. We're tight for time. Hello from Aloha. Aloha from Aloha. There you are. Thank you very much. It's 7.50 here. 7.50 in the morning, Jeff. What are you doing up so early? 6.41 a.m. Daylight savings ended at 2 a.m. Real Justin. 6.41. Right, and where did you say you are, real Justin? Uh, you are in, are you in the Mississippi? Was that right? Did you give us that one? Yes, real Justin's in the Mississippi. Fantastic. Five cows in a field, which one on holiday? Oh, I don't know which one is on holiday. Could it be the one with the wee calf? <laughs> 
<laughs> the week off. A bit of a Glasgow joke, that. Have you ever seen a seagull on a tree? No, not personally, but I have seen one pinch a chip with curry sauce on it from my hand in a place called Milpert in Cumbria, a beautiful place. Central time, minus six. All right, got your real justice. How good is that? Because you've also got Eastern Standard. I don't know if any of you have ever gone to the Scotty McClue website, and apparently you get all the time zones there, www.scotty-mcclue.com. So Scotty, horizontal dash dot com. At nine, cool in a field, which one's closest to Iraq? Don't know. Can you say a happy birthday? No, Zach. In fact, what a shame. Zach, we're going to have to dump you for being an idiot. Uh, that's for your silly, silly wee trolley type lives, not for Scotty McClue, Zach. So we'll have to part company. Bye-bye. Enjoy your life. I think you'll always struggle with intelligence, Zach. There he goes. What a shame. Right, that's Zach gone. Uh, cool eight, Scotty. Cool eight, cool eight. Yes. No pots with the crocodile rock. Absolutely. And the seagulls that pinch your chips. Fantastic. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Steve 12. What a shame. I know. What a shame he had to go just for being silly. You know, as if a man with 40 years experience in television and radio was going to say that silly wee name as a swearing word. You know, I mean, how pathetic are these people? They did remember he didn't know the rules. You never, ever, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. It's just not done. So silly. And, I mean, he's now wasted his opportunity to watch TikTok's top talk show. What's for luncheon today? Well, real Justin, for luncheon today, I think we might have uh, scrambled eggs. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. So a very light lunch today. Send the trolls down the swanee. Absolutely, sparkles down the swanee with them. Half-witted idiots. There we are. I thought you were dead. No, Norrie. I'm very sorry to disappoint you, but I'm afraid I'm not. There we go. What a thing to say. Quite right, Fiona. People do say it, though, because I've been around a long time. And when I was 30, everybody thought I was 60. So they think he must be about 100 now. Is that you on the wall behind you? That's Lord Reith the Labrador. And moi, there we are. Bish Bosch, Scotty, how are we? Jesus, son of God, how lovely to have you with us, Bish Bosch. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Same thing here. Farm eggs for breakfast. You can't beat it, real Justin. Does anybody like lightly boiled eggs mashed up in a cup with some butter and a little bit of salt and pepper and then spread on toast? Stop. There we are. Beautiful dog, Dino. He was absolutely gorgeous. He was a big Labrador, not fat, just big. And he was into everything. We just communicated. You know, he's one of these dogs, the same as Lord Clyde, my next one. They just spoke English. Used to say to them, right, come here, you. And they came over to see you. There we are. Glory to Ukraine. Ukraine. Yes, indeed. My wife loves egg in a cup. John Boy. A good one. Is it a Scottish thing or is it a worldwide thing? Guys, we're nearly at five thousand likes. That's huge. I said, you beans and toast with an egg on top. Oh, Jalovs, you're being a little bit um, chapped egg. That chapped the eggs up. Did the squirrels distract him? Um, no, it was quite interesting. You know, I mean, I'm a huge fan of squirrels, except one came into the house and stayed the night and they make a bit of a smell. And every time I went to see if I could get him out, he hid behind the fitted fridge, and I could hear him running up and down the little coolant ladder. Anyway, I just had to leave the door and window open one night, and he disappeared. Are you a unionist, would you say, old chap? I used to be till I realized that the union was built on sand and did nothing but rob Scotland blind. And it was put together by Jiggery Pokery. So there's actually no case for the union at all. 
and there's no case for Scotland remaining within the Union. Dogs are great companions that build close bonds with their owners. Ida Westy. Ida Westy as well. We Randy. Fantastic. Hello, Scotty Dinkadoo. My lab seemed to be obsessed with squirrels. Well, you know, he wasn't bothered, you know. He wasn't bothered about other dogs. Very, very interesting. He just kind of got on with his life. Yeah, aspire to my clue. Labradors are the best. Well, they're just highly, highly intelligent. I used to take Lord Reith to bed with me. He insisted. So I didn't really get a night's sleep for 13 years because he moved and shoved you sideways in the bed. So there we go. But little Clyde, he used to go to his basket in the kitchen. We thought, no, no, I do need a sleep. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. I get by in about five, six hours sleep because I used to just work all the time, every day. Still do, because a life's not long enough for everything there is to do. 5,000 likes. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. French people are the best, Scotty. Oh, French toast. Speak some Scottish. Uh, what, Gaelic or just Scottish? There we are. Uh, well, fit like that a good can of falcon here a day in the TikTok. So we'd better get started. Otherwise, it'll be dark. That's an impeccable hat. That's a beautiful hat, this. French dogs. Uh, right, the poodles. There we are, the poodles. Fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. F uh, Fiddy Fiddy says, I have a Boston Terrier, very smart but hard-headed. Or well, any Terrier is tough work because they need to be the boss. The Labrador does as well in terms of possessions. Hey, that's mine. I'll take that to my basket. Uh, you got to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Everybody is, Leslie. I mean, it's quite, quite wonderful that that lady has been with us for 70 years as Queen. Scotty, whereabouts are you in Scotland? Chris, I'm on the West Coast. It's fantastic. It's just wonderful. 12 o'clock midday, guys. The time is 12 o'clock. Here is the news. Toot, toot, toot. There we are. Yes, indeed. I'm not celebrating it. Why on earth would you not celebrate the Queen? Heavens above. She's the Queen of everybody. 1952, right? Well, her father passed away in February 1952. But she wasn't actually coronated, crowned until June 1953. Because these things take a bit of organizing. My rat terrier seems to be the most committed to my happiness. Coleman is a great dog. They're fantastic. I love them. I love the um, the uh, uh, Jack Russell, called after Parson Jack Russell, and the West Highlands, and the Cairns, and there's another gorgeous wee guy. Is it the Bedlington? Uh, there we are. And another gorgeous wee guy from the Lake District, the Lakeland Terrier. There we are. And the Border Terrier, of course. Good afternoon from Athens in Greece, my friend, Rigores. Yasu, Yasu, Rigores. And uh, Calispera, Calispera. No Queen of me, Scotty. Alan Mack, she is your monarch. She's the head of state for Scotland. Alan Mack, I'm surprised that you, you should know we took over the English crown, our symbol of authority in 1603. That is your queen. Uh, the king from World War II, right? Yes, that was him, George the Sixth, the queen's father. Nice guy, actually. Afternoon from Birmingham, dinky do. Scotty, you can't leave out the pug. No, no, we love the pug, Brian. Although apparently they're prone to flatulence. Is that true? She does a great job. She does indeed. Hello, Lala from Martin and Emma. Martin and Emma, Lala. How lovely to have you with us, Lala's. How will you be celebrating the Jubilee? I think probably we'll watch the telly at that point because a lot of rubbish on the telly. That's why I started Scotty McClue on TikTok to give people something alternative to watch that's about them and not about somebody else. Hello from Laguna Beach in California. Greg, we love it. Dinky do. Uh, don't they have Germanic blood draws? Well, yes, Prince Albert 
It was Queen Victoria's husband was from uh, uh, Neisenauer in, uh, in Germany, from Bavaria. And um, Prince Albert wanted Europe to be united through crowned heads. Superb idea. He was miles ahead. And Prince Philip was Danish. He was Danish, not Greek, as some people think. Ha ha, you've become my favorite live. Dino, so lovely to have you with us. The Queen should take a step back. Charles should take over the duties and let the old woman enjoy her years. Well, no, Chris, that's not acceptable to the Queen because that would be like abdicating her responsibilities. So she works every day and will do until the end. So there you are. And then Charles can take over. But Charles is already, in November, Charles will be 74, I think. Wow. Amazing. Great stuff. People say flatulence, but it's probably snoring. Yes, Brian. There we are. I am from the US. I love your accent. Quite different from us here. And thank you. Fiddy, fiddy. We love the US. I could do a bit of an American accent for you if you like. They changed names after during World War I. Well, that was because of the anti-German sentiment in the country. So they changed from um, Saxe-Coburg-Gotha, which was Albert's name, to Windsor. Yes, so that's why but a lot of people changed their names during the First World War if they thought they had a German sound because the British are very, very narrow-minded, particularly the Southern English, and they tend to be anti-things they don't understand. Uh, well, the way the monarchy is run changed much from Charlie takes over. I don't know, Chris, because I'm not, I'm not with Prince Charles, although you will see me with him in a couple of TikTok videos if you look. But um, I think he may slim it down a little bit, uh, you know, from that point of view. There we are. There's James. Thank you, dude. James, lovely to have you with us. But you see, the monarchy is an absolute bargain. I saw some idiot on TikTok, thinking that uh, the money that Prince Andrew has apparently paid out um, recently uh, was uh, coming from the taxpayer, just a lot of rubbish. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Cousin Wilhelm. Yes, well, you see, he was the son of Queen Victoria's eldest daughter, Victoria, Vicky. And her husband was Emperor Fritz William, Frederick William Fritz, he was known as. Uh, and they were a very nice couple, and they were the Kaiser's parents. So the Kaiser's mother was Queen Victoria's daughter, so Queen Victoria was the Kaiser's grandmother, and Edward VII was Uncle Bertie. So there you have it, you see. Do they still have family gatherings, the English and the German royals? Um, well, I don't know. There aren't many connections with the German royals now, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but we did have the Hanoverian succession, the wee wee German lady, George IV in Edinburgh. A lot of cousins fighting in World War I, yes. But I was very sorry that King George V uh, didn't see fit to take in the Tsar and his family, his cousin, Nicky Nicholas. Scotty, where does the royal income come from? Well, it comes from a variety of sources, Brian. Uh, the Queen, the monarch, is funded by the Duchy of Lancaster, and it has investments that bring in about £20 million a year, and that funds the whole royal household. The royal family themselves, pre-COVID, bring in about maybe two, two and a half billion pounds a year directly to the exchequer. The Queen, not too um, far back, has paid 93 million in tax direct to the exchequer. They're a huge bargain, the royal family. And uh, 210 billion comes in from tourism because of the royal family. Uh, the heir to the throne, um, the heir to the throne gets his income, Prince Charles gets his income from the Duchy of Cornwall. Hence the reason he and Camilla are the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall. 
And um, these are overseen by politicians who are the chancellors of the Duchy of Lancaster. Uh, and uh, so you've got that one there. And um, that's kind of where it goes. So there's 40 million coming in to run the place. Then there's the civil list, which is a smallish amount of money allocated by the government. So the monarchy is an absolute bargain. <coughs> I think you're talking, uh, you know, two and a half billion in and 167 million out. So that's quite good. It costs you the same as a packet of crisps. The House of Wessex to the win, absolutely. Tourists come to see the raw buildings paid by the taxpayers. Well, no, Buckingham Palace cost £5,000. It was bought from the Duke of Buckingham. So I think it might have gone up a bit by now. If somebody wanted that for a hotel, could you imagine we're staying at the Buckingham Palace Hotel? They look like the best of friends, absolutely. Is it tax or not then? Yes, taxed very much so. There we have it. That's what it's all about. 11 p.m. here, Scotty, listening to your amazing voice while studying late. We love it. Welcome, welcome. I say it's so lovely to have you with us. And dig you do. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. And I am noticing since Scotty McClue came on TikTok, a lot of famous people are joining me. See, it's very, very interesting. They see it working. I miss Prince Philip. Yes, absolutely, Leslie. He was a lovely guy. Thanks for your answer. I'll keep my crisps. You hang on to your crisps. No problem. I can tell you. So is Cambridge the duchy for William and Catherine? No. William and Catherine, they will get from the civil list because they are now senior royals, a senior royal couple. So they are. So they don't have a duchy. Have you seen the King George the Third movie with Nigel Hawthorne? Outstanding. Outstanding. Brilliant actor, Farmer George. And he wasn't actually mad. That's the whole thing. He had an illness which makes your water go blue. Which historical monarchy is your favourite? Oh, so many of them. I mean, poor old Mary, Queen of Scots, a lot happened there. Um, Elizabeth I, Charles I, Charles Stuart, a Scotsman. Charles II, another Scotsman. Mm. You know, Queen Anne, she was a bit of a rascal, Queen Anne, actually. I wasn't a huge fan of the woman herself, but she was quite a remarkable woman. She was the last of the Stuarts. Signing off from Central Florida in USA. Do you know how lovely, lovely to have you with us today? Thank you for joining us. You are an absolute top man. We love you in Florida in the USA. There we are, a Sassnach supporter. You're a Sassnach supporter, Lily. Excellent. There we are. We don't mind that. President Grant was Scottish, if I'm not mistaken. Well, President Woodrow Wilson, his family was from Carlisle. President Trump, his family, his mother was from Scotland. She was Scottish. You see, America didn't want a president after the War of Independence. They wanted their own monarch. And they wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie. And they actually offered him the job. But he declined because he was elderly. And he was also concerned that when he died, they might go back to the Hanoverian succession. So you nearly had the American king. Are you Scotty McClue? I am indeed. There we are, Nixon. Uh, well, I loved John F. Kennedy. I loved Jack Kennedy as a president. I loved Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was a good guy as well. Abe Lincoln, good guy. Uh, lots and lots. There have been some pretty good people. Um, I can tell you, I've been President of the United States. Uh, there we go. Uh, who else have we got here? You've got a spider in the picture. No, I don't think so. I think that's probably on your, uh, on your screen. It'll be a little bit of dot on your screen, I would say to you. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, how's the time doing? We might have to dash at some point. Dinky-doo. Fuzzy Kev's joined us. Guys. 
has everybody followed? Can I get as many as possible following right now? All right, you should be able to pop up to the top. Love your facts, Scotty. It's always an education listening to you. You're very kind, Brian. I thank you. My family fought in the American Civil War from Alabama. Do you know that a lot of the old Clyde steamboats made the trip across the Atlantic to run the blockade? They were blockade runners in the American uh, War, um, the American Civil War. Blockade runners, and some of the captains made a fortune. So there we are. Um, are there Germans with Scottish roots? Oh, of course there are. You see, England, there's no such thing as just being English. The English are Anglo-Saxon. So the Saxons are from Saxony and Germany. So most English people have got Germanic blood in them. You see? Used to listen to your show on Radio Hallam. Fantastic and funny. Gary, I am so pleased to hear you say that because I adored Hallam FM. I had to move to Manchester because they'd offered me two and a half times the money. But, um, you know, I really, really was sorry to leave Hallam FM because I adored it. A great radio station. The Yorkshire people. My favourite is King Alfred. He was a true hero of the Saxon people and he was the father of England. Yes, but he wasn't a great cook. I think if he'd been on the great British Bake Off, he would have failed with the cakes. Uh, but yes, King Alfred was a goodie. You see, it used to be that a legend was somebody that could pull a sword from a stone. Nowadays, a legend is somebody that turns up for an evening with their pal with packets of crisps or pizza. You know, and they're an absolute legend. The Normans, yes, French, you see. So England is really a mixture of Roman, Italian, French, German, and uh, Irish, probably, I would say. I love the British Bake Off. Uh, did the Celts come to the UK? Came from Ireland. The Celts came from Ireland. You see, Scotland 